So guys, as you can see, two new aluminium parts. They are machined, CNC machined, alloy. I love them. With some rubber seal around the edges. But these are awesome guys. These are absolutely awesome. Today we have the Traxxas UDR. Here it is. I love this truck absolutely. It's an awesome truck. The Unlimited Desert Racer. So I've been driving this truck for a year now. And I decided to upgrade it. And guess what? Parts are here. This is. I just ordered them two weeks ago from AliExpress. It's amazing, bro. I need a new scissor. <laughs> Whoa! A new sushi stick! So guys, they are coming, as you can see, I hope, <laughs> they are not sushi sticks, they are the UDR lower rail arms, these bad boys over here. So let's take off the first tire to show you guys. Let's show you together. Here we go. And they are coming with these washers extra. Extra. Oh boy, I tied this so well. By the way, this is the second upgrade I did over here. I got the hot tracing. The hot tracing. Break this. This is my first rear tire. These are the hot racing wheel hubs or the hex. They are 17 millimeter, fitting perfectly over here. They are good because the plastic one originally came with the truck. They didn't last for uh, six months uh, on four cell. Uh, once I put through the six cell on it, they just crashed and they didn't work anymore. Two of them, we will replace this part over here. The plastic one. I didn't break it yet, but these guys look awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I like the red color. So let's use some tools. Over here. I like to use this cover to put screws in. So, in order to change your rail arms, you need a 2.0 mm hex Allen key. And you need to remove one, two, three, and four. So number four need <laughs> to remove the wheel hex first. Wheel hexes first. So let's go ahead and do the wheel hexes. So this is the short and this is the long one. Just remember guys. Remember? Which screw you open? And there is one more here at the back. So three screws. This same long as the one. Up over here. Right? Here it is. Oh boy. So long. But that's good. I think this is 2.5 as well. Yeah, correct. It is 2.5 as well. 
It's so long. So the longest screw is in front of the rail arm. And these two screws over here, these are 2.0mm. Remove the 2.0mm to remove it. One and two. <laughs> so this is the stock rail arm this is the upgraded one i hope they are at the same length yeah 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 that's correct they are both same long so this is the up and this is down this is the side and this is the side what i can see here if i will figure it out i need to put my shafts back these two places these two shock absorbers in these two holes one two to match the factory specifications and it will not make the truck up or high so here we go guys, first, yes, I'm going to fit this screw over here, which was this one. Even in the aluminum, I don't like to overtight it, overtighten is a problem. So, here it is guys, here it is. Here it is, so let's flip this over for you. You can understand what's the difference now. It's this part over here. This is the new arm, rail arm, and this is the old one. It's exactly the same arm, but it's alloy. Also, my old arm, if you can see, it's curved a little bit over here. It didn't break at all, but it's curved. I don't like Maybe the alignment will was just wrong. This is absolutely awesome. Working fine. <laughs> Maybe later I will just take this out and I will spray them in red. I love this red, guys. I love it. It's absolutely epic. <laughs> okay, I will do the other side of the camera now and uh, show you the final results all right guys check it out <laughs> yes baby yes new trail arms these are alloy yes baby these are awesome guys awesome and they're cheap they are absolutely cheap 12 bucks for the pair alloy Machine CNC from Aliexpress. I picked them in red because I like the red color, guys. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Love you all.